close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are on this bloody planet i hope you're well i hope you're fine guys my name's carl smith from the uk hypnosis academy and it's a great pleasure tonight to do a live session for you a live session tonight we're going to be going for smoking uh james is in a hot seat say hello james hi hello everyone james james is down in sunny carmel and yeah. some of you may have seen so some of you may have seen yesterday an interaction of somebody looking for a hypnotist um uh, down in Cornwall. So Simon, who's there at the moment, really sorry, buddy, but I've nicked your fucking client. Anyway, but the thing is, is that uh, James has been on undated with loads of stuff. He contacted me privately. Uh, we had a private discussion and we decided that we were going to do this tonight to help you and to help him. Uh, we've already done, uh, just for those people that are interested, I've already gone through the contraindications, all that side of thing. Prior to come on on air, I'd like to give you, like most all of you, in fact, to give James his, uh, any support he needs tonight. And we're going to go through a live process um so james just tell us um so uh, i in fact i haven't asked you any of this are you, are you whereabouts are you um, whereabouts are you in the world at the moment down in sunny penzance cool. penzance yeah. last time i was down there was when i did lands in john groats yeah, and yeah. i remember that that was oh my god i don't want to never do that again i can know I'm that much 12 miles from lands end roughly oh really yeah 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 there is um oh off. anyway i think of it later on there was a taser place has to go down there um but anyway yeah um so yeah that's cool so james is going to be doing uh smoking cessation tonight i'm going to put some heebie jeebies into him to stop all that stop smoking and all that how much do you re how much would you like to give up smoking james um it's the the most that i really want to give up i'm desperate to stop smoking i want to i want this more than anything and i'll give it my all so you you want your life back basically you just yeah. you want to you want to get back with it and you want to get back on your life get fit get healthy yeah. and yeah. Um, look forward to the future with them um, with the family and stuff like that yeah i've been smoking probably every 15 20 minutes it's absolutely ridiculous yeah 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 mate i know what it's like when i, I was I've, I've said it on here before when i was in the military and only it was only during the kosovo conflict in 1999 there was three of us bunked up in a tank uh little air defense little thing before i went over to to other trades but when i was on that we used to sit there like ah, bang that out and then somebody like else would light up a cigarette and you, you're smoking we were doing 60 we were doing roughly around 60 cigars a day so i know exactly where you're coming from but i'm one of them toss pots in life that if i do something i can give it up quite quickly do you know what i mean i am one of those people so uh, i'm very i'm very good like that so anyway let's um uh let's just talk about that here we go. Right then. So uh, you ain't got to worry about stuff. Who's who's the good boy tonight? Oh, it's Swift. Swift Hypnosis is in the driving seat tonight. First up there. Hi, buddy. Hope you're well. James, hope you're well. Brianden, hope you're well. You're losing the top spot, mate. You're not turning up at 7.30 at night time, buddy. You're not getting the, the number one hot seat. You know what I mean? So uh, Wendy, hope you're well. David, uh, Gavsy, hope you're well. Eric, um, Eric, thanks very much. Um, Max, I hope you're well over in California, mate. I am truly, truly gutted. I will not be in Vegas this week with you or next week, but even still, I'd have had to leave this Saturday to be brutally honest, but, um, lots and lots of things, brick walls being placed in my way, my friends, maybe let's sort out for those people that are interested. And Eric's mentioned this, maybe, um, uh, I have contacts in, in British Columbia or maybe Las Vegas. We could do one at the end of the year. If you're interested in me coming over to the West Coast of the Americas to do a course, let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you. Uh, Dartington, hope you're well. Simon, hope you're well. Hope you're fine. Jules, hope you're well. Hope you're fine. Uh, Dennis, Annie, hope you're well. Subliminals for you. Mario, hope you're well, my friend. David McHugh, good morning to you down in sunny New Zealand. I hope you're well. Wendy, I don't know if you've already said that, but you can have another one. Colette, good morning to you. Are you right there, Eddie? How are you getting on? Um, 
why didn't you do your usual week countdown for this? I don't know. You should have got the the week. You should have got the minute countdown prior to that. Uh, Molle, hope you're well. Uh, Gillies, I hope that's pronunciations right. Daniel Valdez, uh, Valdez, hope you're well. Hope you're fine. Uh, Eddie, uh, are you right, sweetheart? Uh, and uh, Max. <laughs> I'd love to run one from your from your living room, my friend. And Shelley English, hope you well, hope you fine. So God, John Cleland, I missed you just then. Hope you well, hope you fine. But that's something we can discuss, guys. You know, at the end of the day, I'm truly devastated. I've, I've presented at Hypno Thoughts um, since day one. I've done every single one. Even last year when we were live, we had to do it on air. I still presented. This year, I'm going to present. But I don't know what I'm going to present yet. I've got to speak to the crew. They're, they've been really great, and they know that us Europeans can't get into there at the moment. But if you if you do get in, you've got to jump through so many hoops. It's unbelievable. So, you know, I had everything planned. But even getting visas and everything done like that, but they all get they all get stuffed up. Anyway, um, but uh, um, Wendy's got a great point here. Um, let me just do this. Wendy, you are absolutely right. So what you meant by your countdown a minute ago is, is that um, – um, I would normally, with a stop smoking client, ask them over a seven-day period to drop down. You're absolutely right. Good evening, Patrick in North Carolina. You're absolutely right. However, this came up really, really quickly today. So we devised a plan earlier today. Plus, James's intent is where I want it to be. I know that I can get a result with it. And that's no disrespect to anybody else watching this tonight, but I know I can get a result with that and make that happen if he wants it to happen. Um, the reason I do that is to help you guys out as well. And it, it really is. It really is. And I should I should have stuck to the blessing plan. But James, want, James was banging on the bongo drums. I want this, which to me means he's in for it. Not I'll try. I don't know if I can do it that way. You know what I mean? Get over to America and teach us the firewalk. Absolutely, my friend. We're doing a firewalk in the UK uh, latter in the year, so there's nothing stopping me doing one over there. I've got plenty of people that can help me. I've got some people down in Santa Monica and uh, Venice Beach I can call upon. In fact, we could probably do it on Venice Beach, um, but that's an idea. Uh, good, good, good. So let's get on with this. Let's get on with this shit show. Right. So we've already made clear. I've already made it clear that um, the contraindications have been done. No, no drug psychosis, no schizophrenia, no bipolar, no narcolepsy. No, none of the uh, if you haven't seen that lesson before, go back to last week. I believe it was on Wednesday, part one of my diploma. There's the contraindications lesson. Do that. Um, and then do that. OK. Um, and then go like that. Um Daniel Valdez, I'm interested in healing my trauma, my own, without paying the local hypnotist 250 an hour for a session. Well, it all depends how much you value what you what what you believe it is. Because I'm 200 pounds an hour, so whoever that is paying 250, good on them. But on the same token, you know, I, let me just answer that before I go on about this, right, Daniel? At the end of the day, would you go out and spend a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds on going out for the night? then we have to put that into an equation. We have to put that into an equation really about where you see where your life is. If you can't afford that, that's fair dues. But on the same toe, um, that's that, you know, so there you go. Um, with that pain. Yeah, there you go. I get that. Yeah, I know you probably did, Daniel. Um, did James try anything in the past to give up smoking? Have you given up? Yes, he has. Go on, James. It's yours. Yes, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, about six or seven years ago, I met a guy, uh, a friend of mine used to smoke a lot of weed and um, he gave up because he, he met a hypnotherapist. It was a, a friend. It was the stepfather of, of his friend. So I said, oh, OK, I'll go. And, I'll go and see this guy. So um, he said, it's dead easy. It's just like switching off a, a switch in your brain. And he was training to be a hypnotherapist. He just left IBM or was made redundant. Sorry. Um, and he hypnotized me. And I didn't smoke. It was fantastic. I couldn't believe it because I had a lot of addictions, a lot of addictions going on at that time. Um, take a lot of recreational drugs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I stopped smoking for five days, and like a fool, I went to get a bottle of wine one, one afternoon or one evening, and I then went back to the shop and got a small amount of tobacco. Thought I'd just have a few. I smoked it all on the promise to myself that I wouldn't smoke again tomorrow. But that didn't happen, and it just it just carried on and carried on and carried on. Yeah, and I'm in a desperate desperate to stop. I really want to stop, and I just need yeah. uh, some help with that. 
Yep, cool. Um, okay, so th but the thing is, is that your intent is different now to what it was then. Yes, definitely. Yeah, your intent's completely different there. Oh. There you. I, I would suggest from our, our little chat prior to coming on air that you were in a different world compared to where you are now. Yeah. I was taking a lot of cocaine and ecstasy and stuff like that, and speed and amphetamines. I was smoking a lot of weed as well. I know um, a lot of therapists that do that. <laughs> and I stopped that. I stopped all that around five months ago. The um, the, uh, the the class A's, and I um, stopped weed about three to four weeks ago. That was a real bad thing, weed. And I, I used to advocate it and say, "Oh, it's only a plant, but it's absolutely terrible." Yeah, uh, it was just pulling me down, and I was just eating till I was incapacitated. I mean, it was terrible. Look at the size of me—a big, big old lump. Um, yeah. When my attention is very different today i'm much older yeah um, and i'm a lot more serious and I, I i'm i'm going to conquer this you know with, with a little bit of help and um i want this bad i really do more than anything and and that and that's the key that's the key thing is that is that there's that i'm going to do a small proportion you're going to do the rest all yeah, right absolutely. so we're going to go down that route there um yeah. just to answer a question here um, how much pre-talk have you done with this cart so far? You're watching it live. We came on roughly about 20 past. We were chatting in the background, but we were talking about our children. Uh, and I, I'll be quite honest, how, how, how parenthood and all that type of stuff. However, that's a different thing that I'm not going to bring up tonight. But however, there was a similarity that I was utilizing there to, to just show. So nothing. There's been no chat of hypnosis. I haven't spoken to him about hypnosis. I haven't sitting here talking about hypnosis now starting in a moment all right in fact i don't know james has been in hypnotic well do you're not a hypnotist are you no 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 no, no. so he's in he's in hypnotic masterminds which is which is my group yes, and right. um he, he has got no they, i don't know where this is going this could go this could go one way or the other this could honestly right this could go one way or the other so james are you ready to go into hypnosis absolutely you ready to get rid of this dirty disgusting fucking oh, habit yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready deep down to let go now and really yeah. go? I thoroughly detest it. Good. Anyone who's ever did my, done my diploma before, remember what I told you about the way that people answer the questions or anyone who's listened to me before. If there is any, um, I'm not sure or whatever's, then guess what? In this case, I was asking James the question before I'd finished the question. Yes, yes, yes. Does that make sense? So let's go for it. James, I want you to copy me in a moment. Let me just take my watch off. Oh, it's a bloody ritual habit, this. What I want you to do now is I want you to rub your hands together like so. Bring your hands together like so. Bring your hands up like that. Bring your four fingers out like so. Good. In a moment, you're going to see something happen to your fingers, and the hypnosis is going to go through your fingers, up your arms, into the back of your neck, over the top of your head, and that hypnosis is going to trickle down your head. The main thing is you're going to stay pushed up against that chair and stay in that chair. In a moment, that hypnosis is going to pull those fingers together, go down your arms, into the back of your neck, over the top of your head. It's going to flutter down over the top of your eyes, make those eyes just start to blink until eventually they lock. Happy with that? Yeah. Let's go for it. Just imagine now, only imagine now. Just pull those fingers together. Apart, sorry. Just pull them apart. That's it. So what I want you to do is just those four fingers. That's it. Just those two front fingers there. Yeah. Yep. You got it. It's all right. Take your time. Clamp your fingers together and just bring the two front ones out there next to your thumb. There you go. Right. Separate your fingers. That's it. Now stare at the tips of your fingers. Separate them about two inches if you can. Good. Stare at the tips of your fingers. Just watch that hypnosis now. Just start to pull those fingers together now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now for that hypnosis to pull those fingers together now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now for that hypnosis. Go down your arms into the back of your neck, over the top of your head. Just imagine it trickling down your forehead, trickling down, hitting the top of your eyes. And just imagine, only imagine now your eyes getting heavier and heavier and heavier now. That's it. And just allow that hypnosis just to trickle through your body like it's never done before, James. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now, James. Just allow that hypnosis, your hypnosis, whatever you feel, whatever you want, that hypnosis, your powerful hypnosis to take you to a mystical place, a magical place, somewhere really spectacular now. Just imagine it and only imagine it now, what it feels like now, just to let that happen. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now, just to let that magical, mystical hypnosis take you on such a journey now. 
Just imagine, only imagine now, James, that hypnosis it's pushing you into the back of that chair and just allowing it now. Imagine what it feels like for your hands to become like concrete now and dragging down and li literally just pushing down towards your legs now, making them go heavier and heavier and heavier and deeper into your hypnosis now. Just imagine what it feels like now. Only imagine now. What it feels like now for that hypnosis, your hypnosis, just to go down now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Matt, I'll be over after. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just to feel that hypnosis take you over. That's it. Down, down, down. This time, James, what I want you to do peacefully, peacefully and calmly, peacefully and calmly, I want that powerful subconscious of yours now. That powerful subconscious of yours now. Just to take you on a mystical, magical journey like you've never done before. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just to let that hypnosis, your hypnosis now. Just go through your body like it's never done before. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just to let that hypnosis, your hypnosis now. Just take you on that mystical, magical, powerful journey like you've never, ever 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 done before just imagine only imagine what it feels like now that's it i want that powerful subconscious of yours now that powerful 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 subconscious now to really 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 let go of any negative images feelings thoughts emotions or sensations any negative Im images feelings thoughts emotions or sensations any negative images feelings thoughts emotions or sensations that you've held on to over the past few weeks the past few months the past few years just to come right to the surface now, like they're being pulled out, dragged out now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now, just to let go, just to let go now of any negativity you've been holding on to. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now to really, 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 really let go of any negativity you've been holding on to. Just imagine, only imagine now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. To imagine like a big, powerful energy above your head dragging out pulling out sucking out all of that negativity like you've never ever done before just imagine what it feels like now to let go once and for all of all the hurt the pain the guilt the shame the anger the frustration like you've never ever done before let it go now Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now to feel any sensation. Just start to come out through your body right now. Just imagine it and only imagine it. However you choose. Guys, while he's doing that, if you've got any questions, please, please, please let me know. Yeah, nice one, Matt. Hi, Lara. Great question. His motivation is... Um, Long story short is is that over the past few years, he's been in self-destruct mode. Uh, he's chose now uh, over the past few years to change that, and he's now going to do that right now. Stand by. 
just imagine what it feels like now, James, just to let it come up now. That negativity, the hurt, the pain, the guilt, the shame, the anger, the frustration you've held on to since a little, little boy now. Just let it all go. No. Let it go. Because I'm using um, StreamYard, I only have a little tiny window and uh, that'll come in a moment master don't worry about that it's catalepsy basically it's fine as long as it's not there's the blood circulation still going around it doesn't really matter but that's that's where he's gone into so i'm happy it's also a good indicator i've got good hypnosis as well but it's not doing any harm doing what you're doing so he's just going to let go now just let go james let it all come off the weight, the burden, the tension, the pressure that's been holding on. Um, but uh, in a moment when I do a calibration, when I when I do the when I do a, a check file, check, what am I on about? I'm talking with too many firearms officers over the past day. When I do a check with him in a moment, um, then I'll I'll make it more comfortable. Just let it all go, James, bit by bit, element by element, peacefully and calmly now. Guys, we may run a little bit later than the the average 60 minutes. Not by much, probably 10 minutes. One, what does that mean? What's one mean, Mario? Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Don't forget, guys, stick a like up. Maybe even share it into hypnosis groups that may piss them off. <laughs> Sorry. Great question there. Um, clients have an expectation with you on how your session will be based on your videos, but would some prompt them at the flow of the session, i.e. the period of silence we are looking for quietly? Um, I, that, that, I mean, that boils down to my pre-talk. That all comes into my pre-talk, really. Um, so um, the point being is, is that um, I get people to watch these type of videos so they can see what's going to happen. Uh, in this scenario, um, he doesn't really know a lot about our trade. He's seen a couple of the videos. He's not a hypnotist. Um, and so I just opted for what I tend to go for, you know. And like I've said before, um, um, is is that um, don't if it's not broke, why fix it? You know, at the end of the day, I could sit here and piss around and waste half an hour, 45 minutes doing an Elman induction if I really wanted to, faffing around with it, trying to do it. But there's no point. You know, what's the point? Hypnosis has got nothing to do with the induction. So that phase there is done. You'll notice at the very beginning, I was talking about the pre-talk and about how, how is, how that, yes, I want it. Before it even finished, it was coming out, yes, I want it. Yes, I want it. Because it, it, that's how much you were driving it. And that was so powerful. To be brutally honest, I didn't have to go through this pantomime, what I've just done now, because all I had to do was get him to shut his eyes. To be brutally honest um, with that with that enthusiasm, that I want it now, I want it now, that type of feeling that there, that's really powerful. So, yeah. Good, good, good. And James, I want you to really take your time. But when you're ready and you know you're ready, when you're ready and you know you're ready, I want you to open your eyes. Take your time. I really want you to take your time. Anita, every single time, the, every single time that I'm working with anyone, remember the issue's never the issue. James, you just take your time. Just shake your hands off for me and just come back around and I'll be there. Um, but, yeah, every single time. That is the start of everything. Remember, the issue is not the issue. Okay, any negative images, feelings, thoughts, emotions, or sensations come up then, James? Um, I just, um, when you said pull it out, I was just pulling out a load of torment out of my head, really. Yeah. Was, 
I was just going through the actions of pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out. Did was there anything was there anything there that you were pulling out that um that uh that you recognized or did it just feel like what grief grief with my son already that was what I was pull, pulling out. Um well I consider it to be sort of post traumatic stress if, if you want to put a label on it, and I was just pulling that shit out of my head. Yeah. Um, when we're talking about your son, just just for me to clarify, are we talking about the one that we were talking about prior to going on? Yeah, yeah, right. That's cool. I get that. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, um, and that's really what was going on for me. Um, I went into a, a very calm state. Good, good, good. Okay, so this time, James, I'm going to take you even deeper. This time, I want your powerful subconscious to really, really unleash any shit that's been left lying around. Your your body's like a big pressure cooker, all right? And what we're doing at the moment is going, letting that pressure out, letting all that shit that's built up all over those years just coming out bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Good. Just watch this. Watch my hand on this screen, right? I'm just going to push my hand through the screen. Just watch that hypnosis as my hand gets closer. Make those eyes get heavier and heavier and heavier now until eventually just feel that hypnosis hit the top of your eyes any second now, just allow it now, just to feel those eyes get heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier now until eventually your eyes want to lock down, glue down, stick down now. That's it. That's it. Good, good, good. All I want you to do now is just allow it. For those people who didn't recognize that, when I did that and his eyes were still open, there was just pure, just fascination. That's all that was going on. This time, James, what I want you to do as that powerful hypnosis, your powerful hypnosis, is to take you even further, even further, and even further, and even further now. And really, really, really let go of any negativity you've held on to since a little baby boy now. And while you're doing that, just let it go. Let it all pour out now, wherever it chooses to. Great news. Uh, Anita, did I, did I answer that? Yes, I do. Um, yes, it is. Um, there you go. Matt's not even a hypnotist. He's a. He's just a. He's our local pub. Uh, emotional detox is the backbone of all my work now. I love it. My clients love it. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, and that's the key thing here. Um, the key thing I want to get across to you as well is that people don't come to me for a therapy session. They come to me for an experience. And if you get that experience in, and yes, it's a little bit of showmanship. And yes, I am, right, a little bit of a showy. But on the same token, I'm grounded enough to recognize my clients, right? But the key thing about this is, is if I turn it into an experience, they'll think, what the fuck just happened? Good, good, good. James, I really want you to really let go now. Let it all come out however you choose now. <clears throat> the key thing that I want you guys to notice as well is how much more, a little bit more aggressive I am tonight with it. So Rasta, Rasta Pharaoh, always go by the issues, never the issue. So why is he smoking? Not so the smoking's the bit that's, that's waving at us. But why was he doing that? Why is he damaging his body? Why is he allowing all that dirty, disgusting toxins into his body? That's what I'm going to get to, and then I'll work the smoking. All right. So this is just part of it. Cool. Yes, absolutely, Eddie. Um, Lara, can you explain more on that? Was that for me? James, I just really want you to let go of any negativity that's going on there now. Just imagine, only imagine. Oh, bloody. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Why? Very good question. Because he can handle it. And I know I'm going to get a lot out of this, the way that he's been acting. It's all about watching what your client does. I can do the softly, softly, or go in and go all hell like that. 
and some people it works far far more far better when they tell me in my consultation that and they're, they're expressing they're telling me what they want to do how they want to do it and the way they're doing it their their body language their language then it allows me just to go fine you want that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna live up to my expectation here i'm gonna you've built this picture up in your head that i'm gonna blow the doors off i'll blow the doors off and the axles off and all the other bits that come with it in fact we're just going to obliterate it so that's why yeah it is it's just an authoritarian style that's all it is i'm just i'm just literally just up in the up in the way that i do it and stuff like that okay coolio james only when you're ready and you know you're ready just open your eyes feel absolutely brand new take your time though Good, my friend. What happened just then? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I was talking about earlier about putting stuff out of my head. Yep. Um, it was like I was standing on top of my head. I wouldn't quite call it out of body experience, but I don't know actually. But I was standing on top of my head, putting this shit right out. You know. And yeah. Was, uh, my mother, my father, um, my sister, and um, the shit I had with my son, but. It was many of those three characters, not not the four. Um, and I just kept pulling it and pulling it out, as you said, let it get out, let it out, let it go, or whatever you said. I can't recall, but um, yeah, yeah. So just for those people that are watching, um, in some ways, we had a discussion off air. Those people that are asking about um, about us, we we have a similar. We have we we had we ha I did. I had a similar situation. I'm not going to discuss it. Um, that James is now going through with a son and that happens anyone who's a parent on there knows that we all have snotty little teenagers and, and that's all i'm going to say like that we have these things that happen in life with children and as a parent with my my lad when he didn't speak to me for those for a couple of years because something i didn't do had nothing to do with me it was just the way he was with a teenager it hurt it really did hurt and what james is letting go of now is that hurt and all of those things we had a prior chit chat prior to coming on so that's what we're talking about not to leave you lot in the loop i'm not going to tell you exactly what's going on because that's completely and utterly unfair but why i'm going to um just say that just so it covers a little bit of what's going on um so yeah so um what i want you to do this time james is i really want you to take a nice big nice big deep breath for me i want you to breathe out and as you breathe out just feel that hypnosis hit the top of your eyelids again and just breathe further and further and further now Just allow those eyes to get heavier and heavier and heavier now. There you go. And just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. Just imagine, only imagine now what it feels like now. To take yourself even further and deeper. And I want you now, that powerful, power, powerful, powerful mind, that powerful subconscious of yours now, is to really, 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 really let go like you've never done before pull all that shit out like you said a minute ago pull it all out just imagine only imagine now what it feels like for a big powerful energy a big powerful light a big powerful source whatever you choose above your head dragging it out pulling it out sucking it out now yeah you're absolutely right but some people who don't appreciate the way i work and some people who are stuck up their own asses or some people that have very much been script trained do find it traumatic <laughs> yeah i had one myself 
I won myself, Steve. Anyway, we have a lovely relationship now, and that's the main thing. James, I really, really want you to really open that valve up now like it's never done before, letting go of any aches or pains, any emotions or feelings that are stored in your body now. So let it all go, mate. Let it all go now. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's the, it's the fundamental basis of all my all my work. And um, I know Mike Mandel called me the other day and Mike told me that he's introduced it, I believe, into, into his training now, which is great. It's always a great honour when people acknowledge that. Just for years and years of me just pulling it out and doing stuff, really. But the fights of life, just remember the fights of life. Feelings, images, thoughts, emotions and sensations. Feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, sensations. Let them go piece by piece, element by element. Element by element, piece by piece. Just let it go now. Let it go. All those feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, sensations you've held on to, James, just let them go. Those negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, or sensations now. Absolutely. He was being sarcastic, Danny. Dennis. <laughs> Let it all go. And when you know it's all gone and you know all that shit you pulled out. When you know you're done and you know you're done, just open your eyes and feel absolutely spectacular. How's that, son? Yeah, quite something. <clears throat> Excuse me. What happened that time? Um, I continued pulling more shit out of my head, more thoughts and emotions, and um, I'm actually questioning whether they've gone from my life, actually. My thoughts, I, I don't actually know, which is a weird thing to say. Are these people still in my thoughts? I don't know. Are they? Are they not? Weird. Probably. There's yeah. probably there's probably things that have happened in your life that your your subconscious unconscious because I haven't done the the, the I haven't done a, a big pre talk with you tonight but but you know that you know what I was talking about the pressure cooker yeah well, that, that builds up that builds up during life that builds up and builds up until eventually if we don't let go we're going to fill up we're going to go fucking bang right yeah. so what we're doing tonight is going tsh, tsh, yeah. Tsh, yeah. like that so all that yeah. shit you've been building up all over those years. Yeah. that's the the bits that have hit your self-esteem and confidence those bits yeah. that have made you not like or love yourself yes absolutely. Right? those bits there they're the bits i'm dealing with now i couldn't give a shit about smoking i couldn't give a shit about it because it's not the issue the issue is is what went on in the past for you to do that yeah 
and why you keep sabotaging and hurting yourself and damaging yeah. yourself with dangerous toxins and, and all of those things, yeah? It's about that. It's about what and why do you keep doing that? Not, not. oh, yes, I'm doing a smoking session. We do a little script for it and all that shit because that bobbins. The reason is I'm dealing with why you're doing what you're doing, not yeah. what you're doing, yeah? yeah? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Do you feel that there's any more that we can get off now? No. I, um, <laughs> something's going on, you know? Something, something, something's gone on. Something's going on. I'm going to, I'm, oh my God, we're at 40 minutes already. What I'm going to do yeah. now, I just want to do one more thing. It's all right. I've got plenty of time. If these buggers, they'll have to wait for us. So the thing is, is what I'm going to do is I just want to do one more thing. Just take a yeah. nice big deep breath for us. Breathe out. Close your eyes. Go back into your hypnosis now. And I want you to search around. I just want you to search around now for anything else that you may want to drill out, pour out, drag out now. I just want you to look around for anything there that you choose that you may want to let go of. Just imagine, only imagine now with that powerful imagination as that subconscious there opens up like it's never done before of any negative crap, people, incidents, the shit, the crap of life just coming all the way to the surface, one by one, piece by piece, element by element, peacefully and calmly now. Guys, we're at 40 minutes at the moment. I'm probably going to run late tonight to get your popcorn. If anyone's got any questions, please ask. I want you to imagine that big thing that's been holding you up since a little baby boy coming right to the surface now. I'm a hypnotist. <laughs> it, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, just a opportunity, opportunist moment. That's all it was. Just let it go. Just let it go now. Cheers. Thank you very much, Eric. Cheers. Thanks, Dave. I'm not a maestro. More of an Austin Allegro. When you're ready, just open your eyes. Take your time. How was that, my friend? Yeah, I pulled some more out of the bag. Yeah. So for those people that always ask me, do you always just use, can you just use an emotional detox during it? I could probably spend the next two. I could probably spend a bit more time doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I pulled some. I pulled some more out of the bag and. Uh, was there anything that you remember? Um, not specific. Well, rejected by my father, but not a specific event. And then fucked over for my inheritance at the end of it as well, which was about which was about um, four years ago, I think. So it was a bit of a hoo-ha and a boring story, but that added to the rejection, really. You know, mm -hmm. I decided to forgive the see you next Tuesday the, the other day, but. It didn't yep. quite didn't quite work. Um, no, it wasn't what I was thinking about when 
when I said I, I was speaking about talking about my father, my brother, my sister, I forget what I said, but uh, I may not be making much sense. Don't um, worry about it. So just imagine this, Steve, at the present moment in time, your powerful subconscious is letting go of a lot of stuff at the moment. Your head, your head is, is like a bit of a snow globe at the moment. We've rattled yeah. it right up. Okay, yeah. all the bits, all the good bits are starting to settle down, but all the shit bits are still 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 firing off, yeah. And all those crap bits, all those useless bits, those bits we don't need anymore, those bits we don't need anymore, they're going to start to to make their way to the surface and just evaporate and dissipate and fade away and drift away now. All right, so that that will start to clear and give you much more clarity than you've ever felt before any second now. So that'll start to happen in the next few moments. All right. You should start to feel it now. There you go. Feeling clearer? Yeah. Good, because all that negativity is now starting to fade away, drift away, fade away, drift away, and fade away, and drift away. All the good bits in life are going to settle down in the next few minutes, next few hours, all right? And just settle yourself down so you can have a cracking night's sleep tonight and wake up as a non-smoker. And you're not going to scratch yourself and then literally light up a cigarette because you're going to realize in a moment it's a dirty, disgusting, piggy habit. Just a matter of interest, um, how, when was, um, sorry, just what I was going to say then is, um, how long have you been smoking for? 30 years. 30 years. Okay, cool. So one of the key things that I'm going to say about this is you've been smoking for so much so for so long, we have to be cautious over the next couple of days, all right? And you have to be cautious about how your body reacts, right? Because it is going to throw out an enormous amount of shit out of your lungs. And I'm saying that as a suggestion, but it is, it's going to do it peacefully and calmly. The reason I'm telling you is so when it does happen and you start bringing up all that dirtiness and it's going to be fine. You're going to be safe. But when we're doing that, when you're doing that and you're letting go of all of that, those toxins over the next 24 hours. And when you're letting go of all of that, that shit that's on your chest peacefully and calmly, it, you'll know what's happening. Yeah. Good, good, good. Cause in a moment we're going to start the process. Good, good, good. All I want you to do. Um, all I want you to do, my friend is I just want you to take a huge deep breath for me in. I want you to breathe out. I'm mean, going to start the process of you now going to stop smoking now. Close your eyes. And just allow yourself to drift into your hypnosis like you've never done before. What I want you to do now is your powerful hypnosis to take you on that journey. I want you to go deeper than you've done before for me tonight. I want you to deep, go deeper than you've ever, 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 ever done before. I want you to go further and deeper on a journey like you've never done before. I want your powerful subconscious to open up like it's never, ever, ever done before. Just imagine that, what it feels like for that powerful imagination of yours to open right up now. And I want that powerful subconscious now, that powerful mind of yours now, to take you back to that time and that place, that time and that place when you had that first ever ever cigarette now and if you can see you just nod i want you to look at that that lad now i want you to look at that 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 young lad i really really want you to look at that young lad hi beta i want you to look at that young lad now and i want you to walk over to that little boy i want you to walk over to the little boy now and i want you to look at him I want you to look at that little boy now. And I want you to tell him to stop it. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need to be in that crowd. And tell him he's a big boy now and he doesn't need it. I want you to pick that little boy up now. I want you to hug him and squeeze him and tell him to fucking pack it in now. I want you to tell him that you no longer need it, you no longer want it, and all those things that were happening back then, all those things that were happening back then are no longer happening now. You're a big boy now. You're perfectly safe. You don't need that dirty, disgusting, horrid, vile, 
smoke and toxins in your body. I want you to tell him that now. I want you to tell him how big and how strong he's going to grow up to, how powerful he's going to be. I want you to tell him all the good things in life. I want you to mentor that little boy. I want you to give him that light, that love. I want you to tell him to throw the cigarettes away. I want you to throw them away as far as you can and grab that little boy and walk away from him. I want you to hold that little boy and I want you to feel the love, the joy, the happiness, that little smile that you've been missing there, that powerful inner giggle you've been missing there. Get in. I want you now to tell that little boy everything he needs to know. I want that little boy to know that he is loved. He is being cared for. Can do. I want your powerful subconscious to open up to the fact that cigarettes are a dirty, disgusting, hateful, toxic habit. And I want that powerful subconscious of yours now to realize that cigarettes haven't been helping you during your life. They've been destructive. And I want that powerful, powerful, powerful subconscious to acknowledge that. Now you've got that little boy and now you know he's safe. And that confidence, that love, that joy, that happiness, that little boy once had, starting to emanate and start to go through your body like it's never done before. I want that powerful, powerful mind of yours, that powerful, powerful mind of yours, to realize it no longer needs that dirty, disgusting, hateful habit. And I want that powerful, powerful mind of yours, that powerful imagination of yours now to kick in and start to tell yourself, I'm no longer, I'm a non-smoker. There you go, Eddie. That I'm a non-smoker. I don't smoke. I never will smoke. I never can smoke. I never will smoke. I never can smoke. I never will smoke. I never can smoke. I never will smoke, I never can smoke, just to protect that little boy, to protect your little boy and those loved ones around you. I want that powerful, powerful subconscious, that powerful mind of yours now to register that the thought of ever smoking again or putting a dirty, disgusted, sick, disgusting cigarette near your mouth will bring up a vile, hateful taste in your mouth. The taste of cigarettes and the smell of cigarettes smokes are going to change tonight. They're going to change tonight into a vile, dirty, disgusting flavor and smell. Even the thought of putting a cigarette near your mouth will make you feel violently, violently, violently sick. In fact, the back of your throat will start to water. That horrid, disgusting, throwing up feeling will hit your gut. If you ever pick up a cigarette or smell a cigarette, you're going to feel that, that dirty, disgusting habit is starting to fade away and drift away. But if you ever touch a cigarette again, I want that powerful subconscious of yours to kick in and shout, no, no more, no more. You don't need it. You don't want it. And I want your powerful subconscious to kick in and make it the most revolting, disgusting, hateful thing that's ever been near you. And I want you to remind yourself of that night that you took back control. Tonight, 
when you took control and said, I want this. I want to stop destroying my life. I want to stop destroying my body. I want peaceful, happy future. No, and cigarettes were not the way. They were just exacerbating and making it worse. And I want that powerful subconscious. Only when you're ready, and you know you're ready to acknowledge that. And when you're ready to take this on, to be more responsible for your own actions, to feel back in control, more love, more joy, more happiness than you've ever felt before. When you're ready to do that for you and your boy, but especially for you, when you're ready to do that and you made that commitment, open your eyes and feel brand new. <clears throat> you want them? How'd you yeah. feel? Um, emotional. Uh, no, it was emotional. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel good. Okay. Um, how does it how, how does it feel now knowing that you no longer smoke, you no longer need to smoke, and the responsibility is on you and not me? Yeah, good. Good. The responsibility so, the responsibility is on you. Uh, yeah. you you've, you've had a cigarette today. Like, just smell your fingertips now, but notice what happens when you smell cigarettes. Yeah, stink. Have you got any tobacco nearby or cigarettes? Yeah. Just grab that pouch for us if you can. Because in a moment, when you um, smell it, it's going to be vile. It's going to be absolutely disgusting like dog shit for the rest of your life really yeah just smell it how does it feel holding that package now uh, not smokable Just imagine that smell just becoming a vile, disgusting, yeah. hateful feeling going around your body now. And as your body just rejects it and rejects it and rejects it, like the worst ever time you've ever been sick, you know, that time that you've ever been really bad. I want your body to start to react, react like that. That if you touch them cigarettes or you smell those cigarettes, that absolute disgusting, hateful feeling comes up through your body like you're going to heave up all over the place now. And it's going to happen every time you smell cigarette smoke or you're near cigarette smoke or you even pick up a cigarette in future. What's your telephone number backwards, by the way? <laughs> uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter. Just just do me a favor and just smell those cig that, that, that tobacco for me. What was that not, experience like? Not so. I want to stick it in my mouth. In my mouth. It used to go into the bin with the ashtray. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine smelling an ashtray underneath your nose now? Yeah, disgusting. Or just putting it. that ash, you know, that cigarette ash near your mouth, yeah, and okay. sticking your tongue on it. And just that sensation. I mean, if you ever picked up the cigarettes again or you ever smelt the cigarettes again, it would feel like that. Yes, absolutely. I, want, I mean, are you you know, are you prepared to make this this change tonight yourself? Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah. Good. Take a nice big deep breath for me. Breathe out. Close your eyes. 
just imagine only imagine now what it feels like now to drift back into your hypnosis like you've never ever done before just imagine only imagine now what it feels like now just to do that now just imagine james what it feels like now to do something really really powerful in your life i want you to do me a favor now i want that powerful subconscious to do me a favor I want it to do you the biggest favor of your life now. I want you to go back to a time and a place, James, when you were a little, little, little baby boy, a little, little baby boy, a time and a place you've not seen for years and years, or maybe not remembered for a very, very long time. And what I want you to do now is I want you to go back to a time and a place when you're a little boy that you haven't seen for a long time now. I want you to look for a happy boy, a courageous boy, and when you've got him, just nod. I want you to look at that little boy now. I want you to walk over to that little boy. I want you to pick that little boy up. I want you to look in his eyes and tell him you love him. And tell him he's safe now. And tell him all of those beautiful things, James, you've not done for a long, long time. Tell him you love him. Tell him you care about him. Tell him you want him to succeed. Tell him he's going to be powerful. He's going to be happy. And I want you to feel that love, that joy, that happiness, that that little boy's giggling at the moment. I want you now. To give him a hug and put him in your chest like you've never done before. I want you now to put that little boy back in your heart and feel every single nerve and muscle in your body, every sinew, every nerve ending, just to start to spark into life with this love, this joy, this happiness, this back in control sensation, knowing that I can do it. I will do it. I can do it. I will do it. I can do it. I will do it. Feeling just buzzing around your body like it's never, ever, ever done before. Just exploding around your body. I can do it. I will do it. I can do it. I will do it. Knowing that you can and you will do it from now on. You will make the powerful, positive just choices that you need to in life. You will. And you know that deep down you can put your mind to anything and achieve all of those things that James has always wanted to achieve, knowing it's never too late. I want you to put that little boy in your heart. Protect him from the dirty, disgusting, hateful cigarettes in the future. Nurture that little boy and just feel the love, the joy, the happiness, that power just coming back into your body. That inner love, that inner joy, that inner happiness that you've been missing now. Every single nerve and muscle in your body from now on. And every time you see the colors, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black. Whenever you see any of those colors, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, you're going to remind yourself of that inner joy, that inner love, that inner happiness that you've been missing. It will flood your body like you've never done before. And you're going to protect yourself, preserve yourself. like you've never, ever done before. I want you to remember as well that every time that you see a cigarette or smell a cigarette or even go near anyone with cigarette smoke on him, you're going to remind yourself of that dirty, disgusting, hateful, vile flavour, that smell that will just envelop your mouth and your gut, and it will remind you never, ever again. And look after that little boy. That powerful, powerful little boy like you've never, ever done before. And that inner love, that inner joy, that inner giggle, that beat you've been missing will just fire off continuously for the rest of your life.
And you are going to start to remind yourself that you can do this. You will do this. And when you've done that, when you've done that, James, when you know you've done it for now, when you know you've done enough for now, when you're ready to do that, I want you to open your eyes and feel the best you've ever felt before, knowing that you can have a great night's sleep tonight. You're not going to touch any cigarettes and you're going to go to bed. You're going to wake up in the morning and realize you no longer smoke. You no longer will smoke. You can't smoke. You will not smoke. You can't smoke. In fact, your body is just going to keep rejecting it and rejecting it for the rest of your life. You're going to remind yourself and you're going to take that responsibility forward now. And only when you're ready and you know you're ready, open your eyes and feel the best you've ever, ever felt before in your life. It's all right. Just letting the dust settle, sunshine. Yeah. You can see all the processing going on. Yeah. Take your time. How do you feel, buddy? Yeah. Um, good. I, I, uh, I won't be picking up another cigarette. I'm very confident in to, to say that. I have a lot of um, tightness in my chest. You can probably tell that from the way I just coughed as well. 
Uh, just, just a quick one, mate. What what colours that tightness in your chest? Grey. Watch this. Watch me. Watch this. I'm just going to grab that grey. I'm going to pull it out slowly out of your chest. I'm going to twist it out of your chest like you've never done before. And all that grey, that pressure, that tension that's been built there can come out of your chest any second now. Yeah. Well, it's certainly a, it's a lot looser here now, a lot less tightness. Mm, watch this. That there, I'm just going to turn it. I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Let me just get back in focus. I'm just going to turn it and release the pressure now. There you go. That's quite something. Great to see the comments of encouragement as well. You got to muggles of what I yeah. people that are, that are not there watching Emmerdale, watching a man save his own life, saving his own life tonight. Uh, much lessons, uh, much love to you and blessings. That's from New Zealand, from David. Uh, embrace your life. Yeah, it's quite something. Guys, don't forget, if you are enjoying it tonight, put a like, thumb up, or whatever you're doing. Uh, share it into a group. Do whatever you need to. Thank you. Thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity, big time. It's all right. It's uh, quite something. How, how do you feel within now? So how do I feel now? Yeah, there's um, there's hardly any tightness going on. That's for sure. You know, but we've I probably not had a cigarette. Well, I don't know, two and a half hours. I'll be absolutely climbing the walls normally to have a cigarette. Um, I don't have any desire at all. So the key thing about this is, the key thing about it is, is that your powerful subconscious now is going to start letting any of those feelings that you had towards cigarettes, those cigarettes there, yeah, just let them fly. They're not even going to even, even, even get involved anymore. And you're yeah. going to find new things. And you are going to hear bullshit, by the way. You are going to hear bullshit about, oh, you know, you'll go for food. That is absolute bullshit, James. Yeah, you're not going to go for food. What you're going to choose now yeah. is that you've got a choice. You can continue the way you're going or you can choose a higher path and yeah. say, do you know what? Tomorrow, yeah. I'm going to take myself for a little walk and I'm going to start this new journey today by yeah. just going out for maybe half a mile or maybe a mile or or even just 250 meters whatever it is but you are going to yeah you're going to do something to aid this future you this powerful you i mean could you imagine now looking at a future you now could you imagine what it that physique yeah you, yeah, that, again, yeah yeah that body you want yeah 15 that, that, 15 16 stone there you go that lifestyle yeah just just think about it just think about it as well is that is that uh one of them brought up earlier is about <clears throat> just think about where that extra money could go now just imagine what that extra money could could give you in a year just imagine what that could do for you that amazing powerful holiday that amazing yeah, holiday car or something powerful that you can take away with you to give yourself a goal give yourself that driving commitment to yourself to do right now do you imagine that right now yeah 
could you imagine what it would do for you in your life just to have that body and that physique yeah. you know maybe taking a picture of yourself maybe tomorrow and going bollocks yeah. i'm not doing this anymore yeah and maybe even just educating yourself on food types and maybe yeah. just you know learn about fasting you know learn about how to fast your body you know like some of us do on it like i don't eat for 18 hours of a day yeah you know and I only eat for a certain amount because that then starts to burn the fat it then starts to allow my gut to um to clean itself out it allows my liver to to yeah. purify you know and just by drinking lots of water you know yeah. and all those little things there that will help you slowly over the next couple of weeks come to that transition because diets don't work they're fads yeah. Yeah, it's right. a lifestyle change. You're looking for a lifestyle change. And that's this tonight, today, is the one where it started. This is where it started now. The point being is, is that that's just the start of this amazing, powerful new learning journey you're going on. Yes. About learning about fitness, about your body, and learning and feeling and knowing what's going on. Those And learning about, you know, about food types, what not to eat, and listening to your body more rather than just pumping it full of shit. Do you know what I mean? absolutely yeah I, I don't know all these things believe it or not i just haven't done them because with, with in my previous life when i was taking drugs and smoking cigarettes yeah I was feeding a fucking anxiety feeding feeding yeah. feeding, feeding yeah three four pints in an hour at one stage i mean it wasn't because i like beer because i was full of anxiety in a pub you know crazy but but that was my previous life but here's one for you now here's one for you right you haven't got any more fucking excuses. No, that's it. This is you not. haven't got those. You haven't got those to fall on those excuses. We've all given you. We've given you that primal plan tonight of maybe in the near future reaching out and doing that thing you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even if you do, even if there is an element of rejection, you can go. I did it. Yeah. Remember what I told you earlier. I I did it. I did it. I I did it, and I've done what I can. I've apologised. I've realised my mistakes. That's in the past, but you can always come back to that another day. You've done your bit. Yeah. yeah. And then what you've got to do now is you've now got to look at that now, this part now. That's correct, yeah. This I part know. now. That, that fucking part's gone. Yeah. You've got to look at the now. Fuck yeah. that. Whatever, all those things you told me about earlier, they're fucking gone. Yeah. All right? They're gone. Yeah. It's about now. What are we going to do now and what are we going to do in the future to get that healthy lifestyle back, to get that body I want, to feel truly amazing inside like I really want to, like I do now? Because tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're going to realise that my foot's been right royally up your ass. <laughs> right. And you're not going to cough. You're not going to have all that shit on your lungs that's been damaging your lungs. You're going to start clearing it out over the next couple of days, peacefully and calmly. One thing I am going to say is I want you to make sure that you stay in touch with me, right, about over the next couple of days because the length of time you've been smoking, if there's any respiratory things that come up, I want you to go directly to your quack, right, yeah. and deal with it that way, right? Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, you are going to be bringing up some stuff. I want yeah. your lungs to get rid of it because in the next 24 hours, the toxins are going to leave your body and then your body's going to start rejecting that fucking horrible bitumen bollocks and fucking yeah. bullshit you've been pumping in there. And it's going to get rid of it, yeah? Absolutely. And that's what we want. We want that powerful thing because then there is a big, bright, massive future. Come next, come fucking Monday, yeah. you're going to realise bollocks to this i'm not sitting on my ass i don't want to be this fucking size anymore i don't want to smell like a fucking dirty ashtray and i want those things back in my life that mean everything to me and i'm going to make a fucking choice now i'm going to get hit you're going to get fucking hit life life shit right and this mary poppins fucking bollocks that people get involved in right about oh but i just that's fucking bobbins just let me tell you that now right life is going to keep coming in and hitting you is about how you fucking deal with that bullshit after tonight yeah absolutely well done thank you uh 26 a day will save you four thousand five hundred pounds yeah. that's 20 cigarettes at, at 10 pound a packet you're on 60 that's rollies so what's that that's probably about a bit more than, uh, no it tastes roughly the same actually it's about um 50 quid a week roughly like fucking hell look at that it's um two and a half of it. I didn't know. It's a, it's enough isn't it? anyway, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. 
<laughs> not the most appropriate but but yeah he's true that is true <laughs> i know <laughs> Yeah, I used to go. I used to go. It's not too far away from where that place is, as well. Where, where, where the firearms gaff was. <laughs> Bobbin, was it? Yeah, you got that down there, and then there's another one just up the road from you. I'll, I'll tell you another day when I'm not alive. Yeah. On there. No worries. Thank you, Peter. Well done. Yeah. Huh. Brilliant. Well, James, James is in Hypnotic Masterminds. He's in the Hypnotic Masterminds group. If you're not in the Hypnotic Masterminds group in a couple of days' time, I'm going to get him to to put his um, to put his stuff up in there uh, and just shout out. He's going to. I'm just going to get him to give you a progress. Um, he's in that group there, Hypnotic Masterminds on Facebook. I'm going to get him to do give him an update, um, and um, you know he can he can keep you updated over the next couple of weeks. And, Maybe you can all stick your fucking feet up his ass. <laughs> yeah. But um, I enjoyed that tonight, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gents. It's about it's about forty odd people. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? Um, has anyone got any dirty, disgusting fucking flavours in the back of their mouths? Have all those people that want to quit smoking, give up smoking. But yeah, what remember what I said about the snow globe while we're just waiting for these to come through? Is is just remember that the, the dust is settling. Um, um, I want you to remember now, I want you to remember now that you've got a purpose, you've got a reason, you've got a purpose and a reason. And that person, that reason may not be here just right now, but you know in a couple of years' time, like I told you, it'll be there. And you don't want to be, you don't want that moment that your son comes back into your life, knowing that you've only got a couple of days or weeks left due to the fact of maybe you know, pulmonary disease or maybe something that's caused things that we don't need in our life. Do you know what I mean? You want that longevity in life. You want to spend as much time. There's already been enough wasted time. Don't waste that little, that, that, that time you've got left. You've got a long life ahead of you. Yes. You know, just they start prepping for that. Start prepping this Think strategically. Think about the future and about how you're going to implement it. Yeah. Absolutely. James, it has been an absolute pleasure, and um, and for those people that were in saw that yesterday in, in the uh, about Cornwall yesterday, I couldn't fucking handle it anymore. So I just I just I just dealt with it. But I, I actually um, I just punted out to James last night. Would he like to come out? And we spoke briefly last night. The pre-talk that you saw was everything that you have just seen. There has been no behind the scenes. I've worked straight off the bat, bang, bang, bang. At the very beginning, if you go look at my pre-talk at the beginning, I was actually doing the pre-talk, and he didn't even realise I was doing the pre-talk. If you notice, when I did the Maggie Fingers, I bypassed everything that I normally did, and what I did then is I just told him what was going to happen. I made it happen, and then he went. If you notice his eyes as well, he went into complete and utter fascination. So I'm still in Devon. He's in Dartington, wherever, wherever that is, arse end of the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Well done. James, it's been a pleasure meeting you tonight. Remember, don't forget that, sunshine. Don't forget Thank that. Right? Work from there. Start working from there. Absolutely. Right? Fuck the ciggies off tonight. If you smell them, you're going to be so sick. You're going to be violently sick. If you have a cigarette over the next few, or go near a cigarette in the next few days, you are going to be violently fucking sick. I mean, you are going to be violently sick. Yeah. The key thing is, is that you're now back in control now, not that dirty, disgusting little white thing. You're now back in control. All right. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Guys, I'm not going to wrap it up now. James, if you want to wait on for a couple of seconds afterwards, uh, hour and 20 minutes in. Um, I hope I haven't destroyed Emmerdale or whatever shit thing you were going to watch tonight. And I hope we've entertained you enough. Let me, well, let, let me entertain you. It's about an experience, folks. It's about an experience. Guys and girls, as ever, I shall see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Is it Thursday today? I don't know. What day is it? It is Thursday. I've lost a day. Um, it's Thursday. So tomorrow is 7.30 with myself. It is Arthur Hypnotist. So if you've got any questions on this, I'm sure um, James will probably pipe up tomorrow at 7.30 and he'll probably give you a little bit of a 
heads up on where he is and what he's doing and all that type of stuff. More than welcome to. But on the same token, guys, I will see you at 7.30 tomorrow. It's been an absolute pleasure working with this fellow, and I, and I wish him all the best in the future. Guys, enjoy them stairs. Guys, I really, really uh, want you to go out there and uh, just take what you can from me. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying I've just that's the way my head went tonight. I didn't have any path. I just went, I'm going to do that. And then that's it. All right. So tomorrow is Q&A uh, with me. And um, yeah, it's Q&A tomorrow. It's Q&A Friday. Ask a hypnotist tomorrow. Don't forget, join us 7.30 UK time. And um, I don't know, my head's fried after that. Guys, with much love, much care to you and your family. James, you've been a star. Guys, get out there. And go out there and go practice, 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 practice. And when you finish practicing, go practice some more. Much love to you and your families. Speak soon, my friends. See you tomorrow at 7.30. Bye.